Hello everyone, my name is DJ Barry. We have some more exciting news regarding this acquisition of Alcana. And in this video, we'll be talking about that and breaking down everything that happened today with SNDL. And if you are new to my channel, then I hope you'll stick around and subscribe as I'll be posting pretty much daily videos on SNDL. And before we start this video, make sure you guys hit that like button if you want to see SNDL make a recovery. And quickly before we begin, I want to thank all my subscribers that came and joined the live stream I did with Impossible Stock News. And I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers subscribers that just started following me after watching the stream and that's my first time doing a live stream like that and if you guys want to see more live streams then comment down below because i will gladly do more so SNDL opened up today trading at 55 cents after seeing even more red yesterday and that was also our high for the day as shortly after we opened we saw SNDL take a nosedive and from this we hit the low for the day of 52 cents and also the 52 cent line is currently our major support line but we'll talk more about that in just a minute but after this dip that we saw, SNDL unfortunately wasn't able to do much after that, and we stayed right around that level pretty much all day long. And then at 4 p.m., we finished the day trading at 52 cents. And despite some more positive news that was released last night after the markets closed, SNDL is back in the red today, and we are down about 4.37% at the time I'm making this video. And pretty much what happened today is that SNDL came down with the rest of the markets as almost every sector was in the red today. And there is another reason for SNDL's dip, which I'll talk about in just a minute. And the cannabis sector also got hit pretty hard today, as most cannabis stocks were down on average about 3%. And as we are currently sitting at our major support line, this could be something to worry about as our major support line is the main thing currently holding up the stock price. And for those who don't know what I mean when I say major support line, pretty much the major support line is like a belt keeping up your pants. Just like a belt keeps up your pants from falling down, this major support line keeps SNDL from crashing down to a lower price. And as I mentioned earlier, the major support line is the 52 cent line, and we haven't touched this since over a month ago, and obviously it's not a good thing to be at this line once again. But a positive is that we were able to hold this line really well today as after the dip or after the markets opened, we maintained support at the 52 cent line all day, which was really great to see. But the line is very important because normally what happens when we break below a major spray line, we see the stock price crash down in between 5 to 10% before we see things turn back around. And with SNDL seeing a significant drop in price today, I am thinking tomorrow won't be nearly as bad as today, but lately the stock market has been a lot more unpredictable than it usually is. So of course we just have to, we just have to wait and see what happens. But going into tomorrow, just keep an eye on that 52 cent major spread line. And before we get into my price predictions for tomorrow, let's first talk about the latest information related to Sundial Growers acquisition of Alcana. So for those who don't already know, back in October, we saw Sundial Growers announce that they'll be acquiring a company called Alcana for $346 million. And then on January 7th, we saw this acquisition be approved by Alcana shareholders with over 90% of them voting yes. And this meant that the acquisition was going to happen, but there was just one more step needed to make it official. And that final step came last night as at 5 p.m. Eastern time on January 18th, Alcana went to the Canadian courts to apply for the completion of this acquisition. And of course, I am no expert on the Canadian court system, and for those who watched the stream, myself and Impossible Stock News weren't sure how long this court process would take. But thankfully, it took a lot quicker than we were expecting, as the Court of Queen's Bench of Alberta has officially granted a final order approving this acquisition. So this means that the acquisition is officially and legally approved, but this doesn't quite mean Sundial Growers owns Alcana just yet. So from my source, it says that the completion of the agreement remains subject to the closing conditions that were described in the acquisition agreement between Sundial Growers and Alcana. And the main closing condition involves receipts of certain regulatory approvals required under liquor and cannabis legislation. So pretty much the transfers of licenses and paperwork between the two companies. And this shouldn't take too much time just as long as both companies stay on top of it, which I'm sure they will. And then once these closing conditions are completely finished, then the acquisition will be completed. And the CEO of Sundial Growers, Zach George, said that this acquisition is expected to close at some point during the first quarter. So we have in between now and about a month and a half before we see it officially close. But what's great about this is that we'll see the impact of Alcana's acquisition on the quarter two of 2022 earnings results. But we aren't quite sure on if the cost and fees of the actual acquisition will be reflected on, for, on the first quarter's earnings results or second quarters. But of course, we'll be covering all the information on SNDL on this channel. So if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with this company, then make sure you guys subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out. 
But just like when the acquisition was approved by Canada's shareholders, this news is being completely ignored by the major investment news websites that a lot of people rely on for their latest information on SNDL. And these short sellers are purposely trying to bring down SNDL by not sharing this information, as they hyped up the acquisition expecting it to not be approved, but now that it's actually approved, they are not saying anything so they can get out of their short positions and not lose all their money. And unfortunately, with not a lot of people knowing the acquisition has been approved by Canada's shareholders and now officially being approved by the courts, SNDL is not seeing the price action it should be seeing. So I encourage everyone watching this video right now to share this news with as many people as possible so they can know the truth about SNDL, whether it's you telling them so, te whether it's you telling them yourself or you sharing this video with them. Just make sure you guys get the truth out there. And even with nobody talking about what just happened, it is still great to hear that the courts officially approved this acquisition. And I just can't wait to see how much this will positively impact Sundog growers as Alcana will add a ton in value to the company. But I'll talk more about that in another video. But anyways, now for the moment you guys have all been waiting for, let's get right into these price predictions. So after everything we talked about in this video, where can we see SNDO go tomorrow, Thursday, January 20th? So as I mentioned earlier, I don't think tomorrow's performance is going to be as bad as today's, but of course, anything could happen, so just please take my price predictions with a grain of salt, and also make sure you guys do your own research and form your own opinions because I am not a financial advisor. But in my opinion, here's what I think will happen tomorrow. So we'll see SNDL open up the day still at our major sprite line, and I think we'll continue to hold this level. And as the markets open up, I think we will. I think we'll see SNDL make a push towards 54 cents with an early morning run. But I think after that, we'll see SNDL come down to the 53 cent line and stay right around that level for most of the day. And I do think we'll touch the 52 cent line at some point throughout the day, but I think mostly we'll be right around 53 cents. And it would be great to see SNDL close the day at 54 cents, but I feel like 53 cents is a more realistic level. And I am hoping tomorrow will be a much better day for SNDO and the rest of the canvas sector. But if the rest of the stock market continues to come, continues to come crashing down, excuse me, then there is a chance we could see SNDO hit new lows. And of course, I cannot predict the future, so no matter what happens tomorrow, just be ready for anything. And that is going to be all for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this update on SNDO, and I'll be back with another video tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys all had a great day today. Thank you all for watching. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen, and peace out. Thank you.